Okay, so here we have a six-sided die with faces labeled one to six to be rolled. So we're looking at the outcomes. So we want to identify event A, event B. Okay, so what is the probability? Rolling an odd number. So odd, odd, odd. So that would give us a probability of three out of six. Rolling a number less than four. One, two, three. Same thing. Three out of six. Rolling an odd number or rolling a number less than four. So that gives us four out of six. Rolling an odd number and rolling a number less than four. Rolling an odd number and rolling a number less than four. So that gives us two out of six. Okay, so let's see. This would be one half, one half, two thirds, one third. So I reduce everything. So part B, compute the following. So this is our formula for probability of A or B. So probability of A or B. So probability of A, one half, plus probability of B, one half, minus the probability of A and B, one third. So that gives us one fourth. Hmm. This is so long. Okay, so clearly. So one half plus one half is one, obviously, not one fourth, minus one third. So we have one minus one third equals two thirds. So what is two thirds? Well, two thirds is the answer for the probability of A or B. So this problem is basically giving you and showing you your formula. So the formula for the probability of A or B when they are not mutually exclusive is as follows. And as you can see, we have the formula, but also we use the sample space to determine probability of A or B anyway, but you can also get it by doing the formula as well. Okay. Then we have this next example. An urn contains nine red and eight black balls. Six balls are randomly drawn from the urn in succession with replacement, which means that after you draw a ball, you will put it back. What is the probability that all six balls drawn from the urn are black? So we pick one. So on my first turn, we would choose, we have 17 to choose from, and we have eight. So eight out of 17 times, eight out of 17 times, 8 out of 17. And that's because we are doing it with replacement. We're putting it back every time. So we're doing 6 balls. So for each ball we choose, what is the probability that it would be black? So 8 out of 17, 8 out of 17, 8 out of 17. So now we will calculate this in the calculator. So you should end up with 0 0.01086 and then some other numbers. So we're rounding three decimals. So 0 0.011 is what we would get for this problem. And that's because we're doing it with replacement. We're putting it back every time. But let's say that we decided to do it without replacement. And I just want to make sure you understand there's a difference. So if it was without replacement, it would be 8 out of 17 times 7 out of 16, times 6 out of 15, times 5 out of 14, right? Because we're taking a ball out and we're not returning it, and we're getting another black one. So the blacks are going down, down, down. So then 4 out of 13, 3 out of 12, and then that would be our calculation. So then we would calculate that and be able to identify the probability of getting all six balls if we did it without replacement, meaning we did not return the ball 
back into the urn. And then you could just calculate that to get the answer.